This question comes to us from Bud, or his, his observation. Bud's got a lot of good questions. See, pal, you must be studying this thing and have for a long time. And it's always fun for me with, with people online, the questions they ask, they're, they're marvelous questions. And honestly, a lot of them I wouldn't think to answer. So your questions are really important uh, because it helps me to understand where all of you are relative to what you think a swing is. And so then it gives me a lot of opportunity to come back and answer the questions that you really are questioning. I mean, I can give you the information, but the more I know what you're confused with or what you hear that you don't understand, the easier it is for me to explain it to you. So Bud's got a lot of really good questions. And this is actually a good comment. And you're right, Bud, but you're wrong. So it's one of those yes and no. So Bud says that when he swings, he seems to hit the ball better when he tries to keep his hands and arms like this in sync with his upper body. See, for a long time they used the word connected. Now, I don't mind the word, but I hate the way people try to do it. So put towels under your arms and try to swing like that creates a lot of tension. So buds, here's what I will tell you. When I swing, I don't try to make my body, make my arms stay in sync like this. What I'm doing is, is the weight of the club swings, I'm letting my body rotate and stay, my center stay in sync with the club that's going through me. And the reason is, see, this doesn't have to move very far. So regardless of how fast I swing that club, when I start swinging it faster and faster, see, my center isn't moving that much more because the physics of these levers and the size of the circle and the angles was it doesn't my center doesn't have to move that fast to keep up with what this is doing so what I'm trying to do is I feel and understand where the weight of that is and I'm letting my body rotate with the momentum of the club now what you're saying where you go back and you try to get your arms to rotate with your center and you're trying to keep your center to make your arms do this is an observation fine but that creates tension so what I would rather you do is try to get a feel for the weight and the momentum of the club. And as the momentum of the club's going, just let your body go with it. It's really interesting. If I have anybody take a, a weight, a basket off a shelf that's heavy, and they swing it and they have to put it over here, okay, they, you go right with it. So your arms are just swinging. Your body just kind of, I've never seen anybody go and then pull their arms or make their arms go and their body go. See, if I move my arms, whatever speed I move my arms, what does my center want to do? It kind of stays with them. If you start trying to force those things to happen, you can get tension. So right from right here to right there, yeah, I feel like I'm fairly connected, if you want to say that. But it's not because I'm actually doing this. It's because I'm just staying with the momentum of the club through the ball. So just be careful about trying to tie things together here by holding your arms in like this and doing it with your chest or your body. I don't mind the concept of them going together. I like that. But if you start adding tension, it's going to show up negatively someplace, probably the longer the club gets. You get away with that with chipping, pitching. The longer the club gets, the worse that becomes. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.